Well, I got a lot of comments to fix the network connection lost problem in Fortnite season two. And most of the people commented that I should try to fix the problem in a PC as well and release a video. So I'm back and I'm back with this video and here I'm gonna show you how to fix the network connection lost in a PC in Fortnite season two. So let's just straight jump into it and I'll show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem in your PC. So very first and foremost thing, what do you have to do? You have to go to your Fortnite directory. Now, as you can see, I've opened my Fortnite directory over here. And here, what you have to do, you have to double click on Fortnite. And you're going to find some files over here. For some people, there'll be only two files, engine and Fortnite game. Some people will have the cloud and some people will have these two as well. Now here, what you have to do is you have to go to the Fortnite game folder. You will find a binaries folder over here. You just have to go to home and permanently delete this folder. Just delete it permanently. After you're deleting this, go back to the Fortnite game, go to engine folder. There is also one more binaries folder. Delete that as well. Now what we're doing is inside the binary folders, if there is any corrupted files or any kind of files which are mismatched or corrupted in the recent update or something like that. So we're just deleting them and then we will re-download them again so that the new and the fresh file comes back and our problem is solved by that way. So after you have deleted all those things, I mean all the two binary folders which is present in the engine folder and in the Fortnite game. Then go back to your Epic Games launcher and go to library and here you're going to find Fortnite. In here what will happen is in place of launch you will see that it will says as repair. And when it says repair you have to just click on this three dots over here and click on the verify option. When you click on verify what will happen is it will just re-download all those deleted files and bring the fresh files on your Fortnite directory and then you can launch your game and see if the problem is fixed. After that step and if that step doesn't help you what you can do is you can download a free software which is called as Malwarebytes. The software is very useful and it's kind of like an antivirus program which will delete all your viruses from your system. Now you're gonna have a question that why are you gonna use antivirus software when it is a network issue? Well it may be possible that whenever we run a computer you see we right click and go to task manager and you see all those applications which are running in behind your computer. But there are some applications which will show up here but you will not probably figure it out that it is taking up your network connection. Let's say for example you can see right now I'm using 0% network over here. Though some programs will use 0.1% or 0.2% it will not show over here. So what can happen is there may be some programs in your computer or your new PC that is taking a little bit of network but it is not showing on a task manager. So those programs doesn't really show on your computer but it takes a lot of network. So what we can do is using that program, using that free program, we can delete those files which are unnecessary and not required and they are taking up bit by bit your network and giving you this problem. So how to get that program then? What you can do is open up any of your browser and type Malwarebytes in the search bar as you can see over here. Press enter and it will open you to this particular website. Just hit on the first link over here and let the website open. Now what you have to do is with the software is, is very simple and easy. Just open that software, just set a file, double click on it and install the software. After you've installed it, open the software and there'll be just one button which is says scan, click on that button. After the scan is complete, it will take a little bit of time because it checks everything like your memory, your system drive, your hard drives, all the things present in your computer, it checks everything and if there is any one issue it found, it just simply displays all the unnecessary and probably virus or any spyware which will destroy your computer or something like that which is eating a lot of like network or a lot of GPU or stuff like that. So you can just simply the software which just display all of things and you can quarantine them and you can simply delete them. After you're deleting restart your computer and simply try Fortnite, you will be very happy to see the results. So this is a very interesting software, very awesome. To be honest, this video is not sponsored by Malwarebytes. Still, I can guarantee you that this is one of the most wonderful software present in the market right now. After you have done that, you can do one additional steps with this. You can go ahead to a search bar and type in run over there. And here we're going to type in something called as percentage TEMP percentage and click OK. What this will do is it will open all the temporary files which are present on your computer which you don't require and just eating up a lot of space. So you can just select everything and just permanently delete them. So it may take a little bit of time depending on how much 
stuff you have in the temporary files like for example some people they don't even know that there is a temporary folder in your computer and they have never really erased anything from the temporary file and be a lot of stuffs there so you can delete them and it will give you a little bit of more extra space on your computer in a C drive. Moreover, it can sometimes increase a little bit of performance as well. And if there is any file which are taking up a little bit of network, it can help you with this issue as well. The next step, we're going to focus on the network. Whenever you have any kind of network issues, irrespective of the platform you're using, whether it's a PS4, whether it's a PC, whether it's an Xbox or even a Nintendo Switch, you must switch your network. What does that mean? For example, if you're using, as you can see right now, I'm using a Wi-Fi connection over here. But if, you have, if I'm facing any problems with this Wi-Fi connection, I'm just going to put my LAN connection, which is a different, completely different network. Or I can choose a different network or different Wi-Fi from my mobile hotspot. So you just have to simply change the network. What this will do is it will completely change the whole interface of the program, whatever you're using. In our case, it's Fortnite. And probably it if the, you will know that if the issue is only with that particular network or as a whole. So you should change the network at the very starting of the game and then try the game. And if the problem is fixed, it's fine. The problem is with the network. Don't worry about that. If the problem is still there, then you can try this fix again. The next thing what you can do is we're going to open the Epic Games launcher over here. And in the Fortnite, you will see this is the game. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put an additional command line argument. What does it mean? I'm going to go to my account. And I'm going to go to settings, scroll down as you can see. And over here, you see, I'm going to find Fortnite, which is a little triangle over here. Click on it and I'm going to click additional command line arguments. Here, I'm going to give a command which is called as limit client ticks. Now, this is the command which you need to use. You can see the spelling, you can refer to my spelling. Don't make any mistake with the spellings because people generally make mistakes in spelling and they don't get the results. So, see the spelling, it should be exactly like this. What this will do is it will it will give you an additional feature also it will reduce a packet loss which you're getting so this is a command line which is directly given by epic and it will help you to reduce the packet loss moreover if if there is any server issue this will help you out with that so since we're getting a network issue which is going to be a server issue as your server and your computer are not interconnected this will probably help you out because this will increase the speed how your computer reaches the server and how the server comes back to the computer so you can try this additional command line arguments after this what you can do is we will manually change our computer's dns server or our network's dns server what does it mean we're just going to use a public dns server which is provided by google to get the best out of the network how are you going to do it very simple and easy go ahead to the any network you're using right click on it and click on open network and internet settings over here, click on change adapter options and here go to the network connection you're using. Since I'm connecting a Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to properties. The small little thing will come up over here. What we need to do is you're going to see, we're going to scroll down and you're going to find internet protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4, go to properties and you have to select use the following DNS server. Click on it and choose 8888888. 4. After this, just click OK, close it, close this one, and that's it. This is a public Google DNS server which will help you in order to make the best out of Fortnite and it will help you in order to reach the server more easily because we're completely going in a different direction as we have changed the DNS server manually. So it will not take any other DNS server and it will only focus on this DNS server which will improve your network connection and it will not give you the issue which you're facing right now. So those were some steps, those were some steps which you can do in PC. Tell me if the problem is fixed right now and if it didn't fix, please do comment down below after trying all these fixes. I'm going to help you out. Don't worry about it. If the problem is still there, you can comment down below. Comment down below after doing every step, each and every step, because you have to watch this video till the very end. And if the problem is still existing, do comment down below and I will try to help you immediately. So that was the video and if this video helped you, please don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell icon. If you're new here, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.